All right, guys, I need to show you something. I was having technical difficulties earlier when I was recording, but um, I'm back now <laughs> for the moment. <laughs> okay. So right now, um, just looking around, around me, what's, what's above me, Gemini, uh, Okay, that's where we want to be at. Okay, the moon. Right now it's 1218. Okay, we're in Jerusalem time though on the, on this. And um, here is the whale. Okay, so here is my analogy of everything, and please don't think I'm crazy, because I feel like I'm crazy, the way this stuff be coming out. Um, okay, the story of Jonah, he said that he would give, um, the, the, the wicked always look for a sign, and the sign was the sign of Jonah, and he said he wouldn't give another sign. But he did give another sign when he say, as in the days of Noah, so shall it be in the coming of the Son of Man. And so, um, if you look here, this well. I can get back to remember how I did the last video had this stuff ready for you but I'm at work enjoying what moments we have left okay um that's not it Here we go. Baiting Kados, okay, means the belly of the beast and um, the belly of the sea monster, excuse me. And we know that the sea monster is a whale. Everybody knows that. So it's just strange that this moon went in at 1044 in Jerusalem and into the whale and will be there for three days and as you can see the government is watching this so they got their little satellites all around um so let's zoom out um so So here we go. Hold on. Still going. All right. So it's been in there for three days. Okay. 9 10 at 10 44 Jerusalem time, whatever time that is, where we are. At the same time, you have the Aries triangulates going off. You got all these different meteor showers. Um, right near the belly of the whale is so crazy. Three days of darkness, right? So, as you can see, it's 9 11. Okay, moon is getting ready to exit up out of here. And um, we're getting ready to 
go towards um, Okay, uh, Al Zion. This is what I want you guys to look at because 9 11, we're in the Taurus. And this is what I wanted to share with you why it's going up. Now, the whale nose is in the midpoint between Aries and the bull. Okay, we all know that the bride is the moon right so what you guys don't know about this al al zion is zion is the place where the most high dwells and it's very strange that we're getting close to this place look and um Aries between Aries and Taurus is like um, Aries is like the end of the year, kind of like the end gathering. And the end gathering would be at the end of the year. And we know between Aries and Taurus is the first month. And so the tip of Noah's, I mean, the belly of the whale is like literally right in between Aries and the bull. And as we see that the moon itself is traveling and at 9-11, we have some where the bride is actually leveled out with the throne where the Almighty lives in Zion, Al Zion. They could change the name however they want, but I know the truth. And... We have the meteor showers going off. But what you don't understand is that the moon is going towards the eye of the bull and also towards um, it's called the V area. This is a V um, and it shares some star. The Aldebaran shares stars in Orion. And so that's what I wanted to share with you because Orion has a lot to do with the Messiah and um, so let's look up some of these words this Aldebaran So earlier, I was so excited. I'm, I'm still excited, but I was so excited earlier that I found that that, that was, the moon was in between the, at the tip of the nose of the whale in the middle point at the end of the year towards the beginning of a new year. And it's strange that the bride is traveling right in between these moments and is going to be right near the throne of the Almighty in Al Zion. And um, this star, Aldebaran, means the follower. And um, so then there's another one. Which is Ian, which is, stands for the I. But what's so special about this is the Hyades is the the cluster of the seven sisters, um, excuse me, of the five sisters, and it has a lot to do with Pleiades. And the scripture tells us about the Pleiades. It tells us about the the candlesticks and it tells us about the seven the seven stars which are the Pleiades okay so
I just thought that I share that with you. Um, I'm, I'm no professional at this, guys. That great exodus is getting ready to happen. I'm literally um, in the last moments of the stages of me not making any more videos um, because I'll be going home soon. Once the flood comes, I'm going home. So, um, but I'm not going to be sitting here just waiting for something to happen either. I'm going to show the Lord that um, what he showed me and my family is um, that we believe him wholeheartedly. And that we're going to do what we're supposed to do. So let's look at this Hyadim. So we could talk about these sisters. And um, the first Hyad, Ambrosia, the, which was who was one of the Hyadi sisters. And so the first Hyad. You guys should look that up. So, as you see, the moon is moving up, and the the Taurus and um, Orion shares a lot of stars together. So, um, planet nine. They just call it Planet Nine is right there. So, um, so I just thought that I share share with you guys that that the bride is gonna be in the belly of the well for three days and three nights, and then is gonna be in the the midpoint between Aries and Taurus, which is the bull. Um, here at the tip of the nose of the Cetus, which is the whale, um, Aries is between Aries and Taurus is the beginning of the year and 26, um, would have been Taurus was the beginning of the year. And so as you can see that we're to that cycle again because you experience that cycle twice a year so therefore um we're right on the money guys i could tell you you guys better be working on your boats <laughs> i'm definitely working on mine they even have a satellite called genesis how about that so we got all of these things So I just wanted to to show you that um, and quit letting people tell you guys that um, the baby hasn't been born yet because it's a lie. It's a damn lie. That baby's been born. And I'm going to show you. Look at that. Way out of Virgo. Way, way out of Virgo. It's been out of Virgo for a long time now. Um, the sun is at the top of her head. Both Mercury's and Mars is in Leo, which means war. And Venus is shortly coming after. So, um, so even Orion shall, um, shares something with um, the Canis Minor and the Lepus, the oh, Lepus, the, the bunny. Oh, that's why they call Sirius a dog. Because it looks, the constellation looks like a dog. I'm learning just like you guys are. <laughs> so all these stars share something in common. And um, if you look, the moon is in Orion. At the same time of being in the bull, the Taurus, okay?
I mean, we could look at it and see what some of these other word, these other things mean. <clears throat> the Bellatrix was Latin for female warrior, and how about we have a hurricane going on at the same time called the War Goddess. Mm, there's actually a star called Beetlejuice. Kind of weird. Second brightest star in a constellation. Orion is usually brighter. Beetlejuice is very star. Page by the regal. The center of the winter hexagon. Betelgeuse is a red supergiant, one of the largest and most luminous stars known. Okay. Then you have the three sisters. Or the three kings, whatever they want to call them. But really in Orion's belt, it's called the three Marys. And they're talking about the three Marys from the Bible. So you guys need to be looking at this stuff. This is um, really interesting. The budding. That's right, the budding. Hmm. The budding, the following, the eye. What does he have in his hand? So I just thought that I'd show you that with you guys. It's just really strange that during the time that we have this hurricane, we're in the belly of the well for three days, and then there's supposed to be a big impact and flood. As in the coming of the Son of Man, so shall it be. As in the days of Noah, so shall it be in, in the days of the coming of the Son of Man. So you got to understand that this is no joke. I don't know what that means that this the the moon eclipses Aldebaran or that it covers the V. But I could tell you that this Al Zion is definitely definitely a sign. Well, that's all I got to show you right now. Um, I'm just watching everything, looking at everything. All right, guys. I love you guys all much and shalom.